So my New Year's resolution this year is to try to keep track of how many books I read. And I decided a really good way to do that would be to do book reviews. Um, and by the end of the year I should have a playlist with a set number. And I can look back at what I've read. Uh, I'm going to try to be honest. So this is a book I wouldn't necessarily admit to having read. But I'm going to put this on the list. Um, so I recently finished reading Fireburn and Cauldron Mobile by H.P. Mallory. It's a paranor paranormal romance novel. So it's, uh, you know, an adult book with sex and stuff in it. It's actually not really the worst, like, graphically romance novel-wise. Just a lot of crazy dreams mostly in this one. Um, this is the first book in the Jilly Wilkins series. And it was free on Amazon. I love free. Free is good. Um, so, <laughs> the book starts off with Jolie in LA, and she is a psychic and can see visions and she can see people's auras. But she's not the kind of person who, like, is obsessed with the occult. And if it wasn't happening to her, I don't know if she would believe it. Uh, she runs a like card reading fortune store thing with her best friend Krista and one day she sees a ghost <laughs> and it's the first time she's ever seen a ghost before and is kind of freaked out and then sometime shortly after that the next day the next week or something a mysterious stranger appears in her door and asks her to read his future um, and it turns out he's testing her to see if she really is psychic. Um, she helps, he hires her to help him find out who the ghost killer was by doing a time travel spell that kind of makes her uh, see what happened at the moment of his death. And the people in the past can't see her because it's like a memory, like a Christmas carol. And she sees who kills him, and in the process accidentally brings him back to life. Uh, she finds out that she's a witch, and a really, really powerful witch, because nobody else can bring people back to life. There's, like, a war going brewing and sides, and she gets caught up in all these different uh, creatures of the night, vampires and fairies more witches and pixies and stuff who are fighting over like having her on their side so there's this like battle lines being drawn she gets caught up in all this um and it's a romance novel so there's like all these guys who also want to sleep with her and she wants to sleep with them and yeah um, on the whole it really wasn't a terrible book um yeah, it's not Jane Austen or anything, but it was pretty enjoyable. I'm not sure if I would pay for the rest of the books. Like, don't really want to spend $4 or whatever Kindle charges for these books on each and every one of them. But it was a fun read for, you know, a week. Um. Yay, this one's done! <laughs>